What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank, man. Today I just want to re-emphasize how we need to start respecting each other and we need to start living up to this this tribe that we we believe that we are part of, this tribe, this black power, this force that we believe we are the manifestation of, you know. We got to start redefining who we are as a group of people. And we have to change the aspects of the culture that is um, detrimental to our societies because most great societies crumble from within. That's how it usually happens. No matter how much outside force or power you have, it's usually the internal politics that forces a society to crumble. Because they spend so much time on their internal, their external interests. They spend so much time on what other people think of them. They spend so much time on gathering resources and and looking and being portrayed a certain way they forget that internally you have to work on some things to keep the mechanisms working smoothly and operating and sometimes those mechanisms uh need more than just money sometimes it's more than just a monetary reward for the things that we do you know we need wholehearted health and and we need we need smooth we need our we need our blood pressure to be right within our communities you know, we need that blood flow within our black communities to flow right so that we can get all the nutrients of our culture, all the wonderful, beautiful things about our culture that sustains us and sustains the world. We need to get that moving and, and, and getting to the parts that we need to heal our bodies, to heal our souls and minds so that we can operate efficiently like a machine, you know, so that we can continue to do the things that makes us great, you know. And one thing is to define for ourselves what is black culture, what is black power. You know, what is it? You know, and those things that we don't like, we need to get rid of them. Culture changes. Every culture that you see around the world that we define as, as great or significant, those things were manifestations of various other cultures, various other situations, various other pressures that put those people together to create those societies, right? And even those things changed over time. And our things changed over time. What it means to be black changes over time. What it means to be African changes over time. What it means to be an African American changes over time. But at least we have to be the ones to control and tell the world what it is that it means. What is black culture? Let the world, let's put on display what it is to be great. You know, I'm pretty sure black people can find a way to entertain the world. Black people can find a way to, to stay prominent without destroying our communities, without promoting the genocide of our youth, without promoting the destruction of our family, of our families, without disrespecting our women, without disrespecting and belittling our men. I'm sure we can we can do that. We've done it before in the past, right? We have we, we've done it so much that even when it comes to modern day eras, the modern day, day era that most people think about is usually defined off the era or the culture of the black people and the music we produce every 10 years we produce a different style or we modify our old african music to to in a, in a new way and everybody jumps on the wave and that becomes the new era the new decade the new scene the new thing around the world all based around us and there's been eras where black power black respect was the thing to do was 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 entertainment was enough to get people to sit in those seats was enough to get people to turn on those tvs turn on those radios and spend that money I'm pretty sure we can do the same thing while respecting ourselves, you know, that we're doing now, disrespecting ourselves. We can't keep monetizing our hate, our trauma. We can't. It's not sustainable for for society. If we keep doing it, it's just going to be a remnant of the past because, I mean, this has been going on way too long. We're going on another another era, another 10 years of a certain type of subgenre African culture and music that's specifically created to kill and destroy our communities while enriching those very same people that created those communities for us to kill and destroy each other. It's a win-win situation for the haves. And it's a lose situation for the have-nots. It's just what it is, guys. So I want you guys to think about that. What does it really mean to be black? What does black power really mean to you? What, 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 you, what about your tribe are you truly proud of? Do you really want to live in your own black communities? Do you feel safe in your black communities? Should you feel safe in your black communities? Are the elders respected in your communities? Are the youth being taught and nurtured properly in your black communities? 
are the working age warrior class um, men and women protecting and nurturing our communities properly? Is that happening? Because if not, we need to reevaluate ourselves. Because there's been plenty of different cultures that we have created as African people that were horrible, that needed to change. And we've changed them. Whether over war or manifest intelligence, we've done it. And it's time to do it again. It's time for us to do it again. Because if not, we're going to rot on that vine. We're going to disappear. You know, so we can't keep talking about, oh, we got to preserve African-American culture. Well, what part of that do you want to preserve? Because I'd much rather take the best parts of other black cultures that's going to be conducive for my children and my grandchildren to survive and have a healthy and happy and respected life than the elements of African-American community that does nothing that tells me that my daughter is nothing but a skank asshole and your, my, my son ain't nothing but a dumb ass piece of, piece of shit emotional thug ready to kill and rape and murder his own people just because he mad because the white man's holding him down but never go to those white communities and do anything about it our warriors only fight each other they don't fight the enemy right so we need to change that so that's really all I wanted to say guys we gotta reevaluate what it is that we mean when we say black power, you know, and all this stuff, okay? So that's all I got to say for now, guys. Afro Think Tank, learn something, teach something. I'm out.